Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Super Nintendo uh, SNES, some call it. And um, so we've got a situation here where I've tested it so far. The unit powers up, but we're not getting any display. Um, I'll just uh, quickly run through what I've tested so far and um, then we're gonna have to open this up so currently if you look at the TV we have no signal and uh, once I switch it on you can see the light comes on and we still have no signal so I've tried a different AV cable and this is actually on connected to AV at the moment. Tried a different cable, exactly the same thing. I've also connected an RF cable as well, which is this one, the old school RF cable. And I'm getting a black screen. Um, all I'm getting is a black screen on the RF. So we definitely have an issue with video uh, output. Also, there's no audio output, there's no sound. So it seems like we're not getting any output at all. Um, tried it with a game in it, without a game in it, uh, same thing. So I think at this point, um, let's take it to the mat and take it apart and let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay guys, so I've got it on the bench now and they're going to take this apart. So first thing we got to look at is what type of screw. So we got this uh, game bit uh, sockets and uh, I think we've got about six here. So uh, let's take these out first. All right, guys, open nice and easy. All right, so, so far the unit looks quite clean. Uh, I mean, there's dust in here, which is expected uh, to get through, little gaps and stuff. Um, but otherwise, the board looks quite tidy. Doesn't particularly look like it's been opened before. There is an on and off switch, a reset button, cartridge slot, and as you can see, there's our AV out, RF out. What I'm not sure is, I've never actually owned a Super Nintendo, so I'm not sure, this is one thing I wasn't sure of, whether or not um, you need to have sort of a working game in there for you to get an output. Um, because if you do, that could possibly uh, point us towards a 40 cartridge slot maybe. Um, I am going to do a real quick Google search just to find out whether or not I need to have a working sort of game to get an, an output. And um, and then I'll, I'll sort of come back and decide whether I'm going to start with cleaning this or look somewhere else. Okay guys, so I've done a quick little research. I haven't had anything 100% definitive, but I did see a video on YouTube where someone was testing or showing you how to switch on a, a Super Nintendo. And he did have the older one, sort of more square, boxy one. I'm not sure if it's older or if it's a different different uh, country model. Um, but when he switched it on without a game, he didn't get anything. When he put a game in, he got a signal. So. I think you do need to have a game for you to get signal in. So I think the first thing we're going to look at is this game cartridge slot. Um, probably give it a clean and just have a look around it. Um, I might just sort of maybe take it apart if I can. I'm not sure. I think it can come apart. Um, and then we'll give it a good clean and, and then we'll test that first. Alright guys, so I'm just going to take the board out. Let's just take the whole board out and then um, we can inspect, inspect it properly. All 
there we go so i've got the main board out and uh, i just want to inspect the back of the board which to me immediately looks quite clean it's just a lot of original sort of flux on the board here is our outputs our av out on our rf out and as i said i'm not getting an output to either of them so um that's just leads me to a sort of wider problem and i mean these pins these pins look very clean from the naked eye anyway and the solder joints look very clean as well so let's see if i can i'm gonna get a little brush in there and see if i can clean these contacts and then i'm going to take the board and connect it back and see if we get anything so i can use a little ipa and just give the contacts a little brush and then i'm also going to use the cartridge and a bit of ipa and sort of put it in and out to sort of clean off any potential uh, corrosion or anything that i can't see Give it a little low heat just to dry it out really quickly. All right guys, so I'm all plugged in, ready to go. I plugged in the AV and I plugged in the RF and there's my extra spare AV that I, I tested. So I did test both of those. So let's switch it on and see. So we've got our light on. We've got no signal, but we've got sound. Yes, we do. We do have sound. Let's get the control. Uh, let's see. We've got sound. Yes. Okay. So this is on the AV. So we're not getting any video signal, but we're getting audio. Let's try antenna. Yes. We've got picture. Okay. So that was a dirty cartridge slot. However, we're getting picture and sound on the RF, but no video on the AV, which is strange. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap the AV cable, and try the other AV, AV cable now and see if we get any picture, then we can rule out whether it's the cable that's faulty. All right, guys, so I've plugged in the other AV cable. I also noticed we've got another little issue there is this power supply uh, is slightly temperamental. So sometimes, as you can see there, it cut out. So we need to check that. Looks like you might have a, probably a dry solder joint or something like that. So we've got to check that out as well for continuity. So you can see it's off now. So it's coming, yeah, so there's definitely a problem there. I need to sort that out as well. Right, so I've got picture on RF. I'm gonna switch it back to AV again and see. And the same thing. So we're getting audio, but no picture. I don't think it's the cable, but we can test the pins and make sure that we're getting a signal on the video pin. Um, also, I'll just show you guys what it's connected into. Uh, this little box here. I haven't got any more of these, but I can definitely check to see if the pins are uh, getting continuity on that. Sometimes that little um, block could be dodgy as well. Let's pull it out. So we will also check this little box here and check the pins and make sure that there's no issues here. So let's take this uh, back to the mat and um, do a couple of tests. Okay guys, so we're back at the table. You just take this out of the way give us a bit more space um so right so we're getting somewhere which is a good thing um but we've got more faults so i think the first thing i'm going to sort out is this power power issue because i don't want us to get any 
anything blow in with the shorting and stuff. So I'm gonna check the pins here and um, make sure that we're good here. So um, let's get my tester. All right guys, so I'm just gonna quickly reflow these joints and see if that makes any difference. Cool, looks good. So let's just test these. Okay, so that's our ground there to the side of the cap. There's a positive. Okay, so we'll test that when we go back um, to the other side. So put this aside for now. And what I wanna look at is the cables and the uh, this uh, AV adapter. So I've got one of the cables here. What we can do is we can check for continuity on these pins, if I can get into there. Um, if we can get in here. And then also we can check continuity on here. I'm gonna start with this first, bearing in mind that both cables were doing the same thing. I'm gonna check this first, because likely it would be probably this rather than the cables. Um, but it also could be a fault with the actual unit itself. So let's see if we can find out where these pins go. So we've got left and right audio here and we've got video here. So I'm gonna I'm going to assume that video comes out on these pins and left and right audio comes out here. So first I'm gonna look for the ground which is the outer part. We've got a ground here. So we've got a ground here. So our audio grounds comes up on this pin and uh, let's see our left audio. Hmm, not getting anything, not sure if I'm making contact on that properly. Oh. So we've got left audio here. And right audio here. Some of these pins are probably need, probably not connected inside. So let's see if we can find the ground first. So we've got a ground and let's see if we can get the inside. Okay, so we are, it seems like we're getting signal to coming through this. Let's have a look at the cables now. I'd be surprised if it was both cables that weren't working. So I'm starting to think that we might have an issue with the actual uh, console.
can literally only see two pins in here. Um, so I'm not sure if there's some sort of circuitry in here. So I think the easiest way to probably test this is actually to plug it in here. And then we can see if we can test, we can test from these pins um, and find out whether they come up here. I don't know what pins are what, so it's going to be sort of a guessing game. Um, looks like they're coming out here. There are quite a lot of capacitors here as well, which we can also check out. Um, or it could also be maybe a video chip, faulty video chip. So let's see. So we're going to go with the audio first. Okay, so we're getting the hot audio on 11 here. Might look into reflow these as well. Let's try the left audio. Okay, left audio comes out on 12, right audio comes out on 11. Let's see if we can get the ground on that as well. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but it seems strange that we're not getting any grounds anywhere. Let's try the video. So this is the signal that we're not getting at the moment. Video. Wondering if we have a ground issue here. Right, so I'm getting nothing on the video. Okay, um, I'm gonna try another cable and just see, because I didn't get any ground uh, on these two. I only got the hots and I didn't get any video or ground on this one. So I'm gonna try the other cable and see what happens. Right, so this cable is giving us all the grounds it's giving us the hot the, the hots for the audio, but I'm not getting the inner pin. So it could be a cable after all. Two dodgy cables. In all fairness, I haven't tried any of these cables. I got the unit with two cables, and maybe that's why they thought it wasn't working. And they never maybe they never tried it on um on the RF, maybe, I'm not sure. But we definitely have an issue with a pin here um, interesting I'm not sure how to test this uh, I tell you what I'm gonna test the pins from here to the pins on the actual on the inside here because it could also be an issue between the pins here and, and here so I'm going to try and see if I can get continuity on all these 12 pins inside. So I'll start with 12 and I'll work backwards. You're going to find number 12. Okay. So we've got 12 here. Let's try 11. Yep. Uh, 10, yep, 9, 8, 
assume eight would have been here. So we're not getting eight. Let's try seven. Seven should be on this side. No seven or no eight. Uh, let's try six. Am I doing this right? Um, no, actually, let's go back. Oh, there we go. I was doing the wrong one. Okay. Six. Yep. Five. Four. Four. Yep. Three. Two. One. Okay. So this is working, the socket's working fine. So it does look like it could be this cable. All right guys, so I'll come back to this. I'm gonna see if there's somewhere I can open it. So I'm just gonna play around with it for a bit and see if I can get it open. And then I'll uh, come back to the video. It seems to be coming apart. It's just softening the plastic. I think it's glued there. guys oh look at that surprise surprise so we found our culprit there's our video signal so we've got the four the three blue ones which are the three grounds uh, we've got the red for audio right white for audio left and our yellow is our video signal which as you can see has come apart so here's our culprit so uh, first I'm gonna I'm gonna solder this back on. You can see it's come off from the bottom. From the bottom at the back here. So let's take this off. Um what I'll probably do is I will probably sort of give them all a, a resolder. The joints are quite dry. I'll probably just do them all again because they'll probably end up popping off at some time as well. So let's yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's redo these. So my other cable is going to need the, re the, the repairing as well. probably just broken off all the sort of flexing over the years All right, so while we've got these out, um, it makes sense to just test the pins here and make sure that the 
that there the continuity is there so we're going to start off with the ground so we're good and the being that all three grounds are connected together all of these three um i think i didn't get ground on all three of the other ones if i if i if i can remember that correctly good cool so let's go with the white audio which is at the that we're gonna hold this down right at the back yep and we've got our red audio and our video yes cool so I'm gonna put this back together and then we'll put it back onto the board and test it like we did a little while ago. So this is a little bit, a little bit manky now, but most important thing is we get it to work. I'm gonna to have to use some glue and sort of glue this back. Okay guys, so let's test this out again. Most importantly, what we're looking for is the tip of the yellow. I think the ground is here. I think all our grounds should be in one spot anyway. Yeah, so we've got our ground. And uh, let's quickly check again, make sure our audios are there. So we've got one audio here one audio here and let's see if we can find our video I think it's this one there we go so video is on nine so we're getting video signal now so theoretically we should be getting picture so I'm going to take this back connect it up and let's see if we get picture on the AV all right guys, so all plugged in and ready to test again. Right, so we've got power on. Let's uh, put the TV on. So let's go back to antenna, which we were getting before. Uh, and I'm not getting now. Uh, let's go to this channel. Just realize no game. Let me go and get a game and put a game on. Okay guys, so I've got a game. I think this is just confirmation um, that the Super Nintendo doesn't work without a cartridge. Yeah, there we go. So you do need to have a cartridge in there. So let's um, flip over now to AV, which is what we wanted. Should get a slightly better signal as well. Ah, there we go. Working. So we've got antenna and AV. Great. Let's try out one of these games. Yep, there we go. I'm doing this with one hand. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like it's working. All right, guys, so that's it, Nintendo Fix. Let me just put this all back together and um, then we'll come back. Hi guys, so that's it. Put back together, job done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, hopefully this will help someone as well if you've got uh, some similar issues with no output on your Super Nintendo. Um, I've gone through some of, the, some of the things that you should look out for. 
So um, guys, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give us a like. Also subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. All right. <laughs>